So, this unit involves a lot of graphing. I like this because you can see the math happening before your very eyes. We're going to focus on graphing quadratic relationships, but it's useful to see what they look like compared to other types of graphs. The simplest graph that we can look at is a line. It doesn't bend, which means it has a constant slope, and it goes on forever in both directions. We call this a linear function or linear relationship, and its equation will look something like 5 minus x, or 2x plus 3. Now, when the line goes up as we go right, or if y increases as x increases, that means we have a positive slope. That means the coefficient, or the number multiplied to x in the equation, is positive, like in 2x plus 3. If we have a negative instead, like in 5 minus x, it flips the line so that it goes down instead. Now, we say that a line has a degree of 1, because in our equation, we only have x and nothing fancy, like x squared or x cubed or x to the power of 16 or anything like that. If we don't even have x, and our equation is something like y equals 4 or y equals negative 2, that is a constant function and is essentially a degree 0. But sometimes we do have a fancy x squared in our equation, and that is called a quadratic or a parabola. It's the focus of this unit. It's essentially a line with a single bend in it, like the letter u, and it has a degree of 2. Which means we can have an x squared, and we can have an x, but we can't have any exponent bigger than that. The highest order of exponent we have is equal to the degree, and whatever is multiplied to that largest exponent is called the leading coefficient. When the leading coefficient on a quadratic is positive, like 2x squared minus 3, the quadratic opens upwards. I like to call these parts the arms of the graph. So here the arms are both pointing up. And when we have a negative, it gets flipped and the arms point down. Degree 3 gives us a cubic function like x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1, which is a bit more squiggly in shape. When it's positive, we get the left arm going down and the right arm going up, very similar to a linear relationship. And the negative version is flipped, and it goes the other way. And degree 4, which is called a quartic, gives us a w or an m shape. If we look at all these different types of graphs, there are a few patterns that we can see. A cubic graph is like a line with extra bends, and a quartic graph is like a quadratic with extra bends. When a graph has an odd degree, like 1 or 3, the arms of the graph point in different directions. When the degree is even, they'll point in the same direction. This is true for all degrees of relationships, so even though I didn't show you an example of a positive degree 5, could you make a guess about what it might look like? 